Hey everyone, it's me again, Yvette. So here we are on our last and final speech for Con 103. So in last week's speech, I talked about why you should choose real grass over artificial. But what I really wanted to say was that you should choose artificial over real grass. There's a way to keep your lawn looking great for the next 20 years with little to no maintenance, cost efficient, and help the environment all at the same time. For the past 10 years, I maintained real grass in my front and backyard, which cost me about $800 a year, uh, maintaining my grass green, keeping it cut, buying necessary gardening tools to maintain it. I realized I needed to make a change. Artificial grass is the best and long-term option for your lawn. It has long-term benefits in saving money, reducing allergies, and is environmentally better in many ways. Although artificial grass is better in the long term, many people are hesitant to make the change. Besides that people don't like change, I want to focus on three points, cost, allergies, and environment. As most of us know, artificial grass has an initial higher cost. It can cost about $3,200 to install for a 500 square foot yard as opposed to a $675 for sod. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but you'll end up saving in the long term. As I mentioned in my video last week, real grass helps with photosynthesis. We need oxygen to breathe, but real grass also has pollen, and it's one of the causes of an allergic reaction, such as hay fever, to those who have seasonal allergies. According to the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, it affects approximately 6.1 million children and 20 million adults. Now, there's 70% of the world is covered by water, and only 2.5% of it is fresh or drinking water. Water shortage in the U.S. will only continue to get worse if people continue to use it for watering their lawns. According to the article, Reduce Your Outdoor Water Use, it estimates that we as a nation use 9 billion gallons of water a year for landscape and irrigation. That is a ton of water that we could be saving. If we don't fix this issue, our planet will eventually run out of drinking water. What are we going to do when that happens? You might be asking yourself, how can I really save money when I'm spending so much money up front? Yes, the initial cost is high, but after six years of having artificial grass, you would have spent nearly the same amount of money as if you had sought for those six years. After six years, you'll be saving about $800 for a 500 square feet lawn a year in maintenance and water usage. Many of us are not well informed that artificial grass is allergen free. In the article, Watery Ice, Runny Nose, Time to Spring into Action, by Rebecca Williams states that approximately $1.3 billion are spent in medications and doctor's bills due to hay fever. Because real grass is not allergen free, people who get hay fever will continue to get the symptoms as there is no cure for it. California is currently experiencing a water shortage. Christina Milesi, a scientist who worked for NASA for over 10 years, came up with an astonishing number of gallons of water we use to water our lungs. Milesi said that 20 trillion gallons of fresh water is used worldwide for lung watering and irrigation a year. With those numbers, many people still question if artificial grass is better than real grass. One of the reasons is because of the carbon being released from the recycled tires they use to make it. Melesi accounted which one does more damage to the environment, the carbon that's released from the artificial grass or water that's wasted watering lawns. To no surprise, watering lawns cause more damage. Fortunately, for many of these barriers, there's a solution. For cost, there are several ways for someone to afford a high initial cost of artificial grass. Many companies offer financing with low interest rates. You can save for a few years, as I did, or you might qualify for a state or city rebate. For example, in 2017, Dubner, the host of Freakonomics Radio, spoke with Eric Garcetti, the current mayor of Los Angeles, about the drought issues in California and how much water was being used in lawns and landscapes in the city of LA. 
Los Angeles nearly used nearly 50% of its drinking water. So Garcetti, the mayor, started to pay its residents to change their lawns to drought tolerant ones. There is a temporary solution for a hay fever, like medications such as Zyrtec, Claritin, and other over-the-counter medicines. According to Williams, many people who already have asthma will have a more severe reaction that can lead to hospitalization or death. So switching to artificial grass will allow your children and adults with allergies to enjoy playing in the grass without the fear of an allergic reaction. Continuing to water our lawns will only contribute to the water shortage. Artificial grass does not need to be watered, it's pest free, and it's low maintenance. Artificial grass also reduces the carbon footprint by not having to use the gas-powered lawn mowers. And according to the California Department of Water Resources, the state of California will start restricting water usage to 55 gallons of water a day per person beginning 2023. And if you're really concerned about removing real grass, because of the oxygen that it releases, not a problem. Plant a tree in the middle of the artificial grass. Not only will you get the oxygen you wanted, but it also looks nice. Since I changed to artificial grass up, I enjoyed the benefits of it. Although it did cost me in the beginning, it cost more in the beginning, I am certain it will pay off in my future. My kids have been able to enjoy playing in the lawn without any rashes or hay fever. I have also enjoyed the benefits of a lower water bill. At the end of the day, do you really want to mow your lawn every two weeks or pay someone to do it? Have your neighbors complain of your loud lawnmower or dealing with hay fever? Do you want to be part of the problem or part of the solution of the water shortage? If grass ever is a consideration, remember to choose artificial grass. With that being said, I hope you all find something productive and fun this summer, and I really enjoyed watching and reading all your comments. Um, bye!